When I was younger, I used to come up to Fresno every winter and uh, help out my uncle at Central Fish Company. And I was always very curious to see what Chinatown was. And I think the older I got, I was put in a position where I have to go and look out and try to find the historical tunnels and, and start digging. If you ask a lot of property owners in the past especially, they would tell you straight to your face that tunnels don't exist in Chinatown right. when they have tunnels underneath them. You have story about tunnels? No, I don't know about the story. <laughs> Then those people pass away, new tenants move in, and we realize that tunnels are all throughout that building. Stairs that... Huh. So they have access to... from the street to down to the tunnels. Well, there's another access to upstairs. This gives easy access to the basements and to the tunnels so people can exit. When police would do raids in Chinatown, they would come down underneath the tunnels and a lot of stories of how difficult it is to catch the people in Chinatown because of the tunnels. They would just scatter all over the place. Because we're under the street right now. Yeah, I know there's a lot of alcohol, prostitution, opium, and gambling, and it's not all about them making the railroad and being the model citizen. This was bad Japanese, Chinese history. The door is closed right now. This is the door. They're trying to get into the basement, but he has it blocked off with a bunch of uh, with shoe boxes, so we're gonna get those moved out and crawl under the basement. And well, that's like opening up a safe that hasn't been opened for so long. And, and these are like hidden treasures. There's a lot of excitement built into what that can bring. It's like, you know, all these basements and all these places in here and where these boards are boarded up and where this board is and in between there. Well, that's some Chinese writing up there. See, if you see something like this, this has got a big line in it. A lot of times that means that something used to be behind there. Like this is like the white brick right here. And then when we, see, we get to this side, it turns red. And then they have the lines that would show you. A lot of these things just haven't been touched for so long, for a hundred years, they've just been sitting there. And uh, it's just about time for us to really see what they were doing down there. And, and, and all these priceless you know, artifacts is something that's, that's, that's worth it. Actually, you know what, that's Japanese. That's not even Chinese. You know, there's a, lo a lot of these basements down here was, uh, they call them like brothels and prostitution dens, and a lot of uh, prostitutes used to sleep down here. They were actually kidnapped from China as mail order brides and were never allowed to escape. A lot of people used to get lost in the tunnels and never be seen again. That's why people say, I think we're gonna walk by uh, the alley where people can hear lost souls still screaming for help. One time I, we brought a, like a median person who could kind of hear voices or see the dead and uh, he walked, by, walked past that building without knowing any history behind it. And uh, well, the lady that I was with, she said that she could hear you know, voices trapped down there. They need to be released. Uh, a lot of these prostitutes, you know, they were tricked into coming into, into, into Fresno, sort of like a mail order bride type of thing from China. They'd get to Fresno and they'd have their whole life stripped from them. If they tried to leave Chinatown or the tunnels, basically they lived here 24 hours a day, didn't really see the day of light. If they did, they were killed. Well, this looks like a, a Chinese association that we saw some gambling papers in here. Um, I wouldn't doubt if this whole place was like kind of a gambling hall. Yeah, but this looks like, you know, a, a secret entrance. I know a lot of these places in Chinatown had basements like this. They used to all connect. This is it. This is, this is our history. My dad, he never told me. I, I, I went to church every, every week right across the street. I bought snow cones right down the street every, every week. I had no idea that these were down here throughout my whole childhood. They didn't say anything. They didn't, they didn't tell me anything about the tunnels. They, there was no history, it was just straight. They wanted it just not to be here. 